Who's got a truck that can do a ton of work? Toyota is who. Who's got the most payload of any small truck? Toyota is who. Who's got power? Who's got an electronically fuel-injected engine? And who's got a towing option that can handle two and a half tons? Toyota is who. 1986 Toyota one ton. And who else? Nobody. What's up guys, it's Eric Stein. It's been a long, t oh my God, the sun. Anyway, it's been a long time since I've made a video. Um, I think actually almost about a year since I've made an, an actual vlog. So uh, I figured what better way to kick it off than with my new daily driver. Um, been driving this guy for about a year and it's, uh, it's honestly really nice. It's um, very slow. It's a 1988 Toyota pickup. Uh, some places I believe call it a Hilux or Helix however you pronounce it, but when I picked it up, it had apparently had been sitting in some guy's barn. He uh, used to race tractors and stuff, but since my buying it, which it was bone stock, um, I've added certain things like a Nardi steering wheel radio. I got these little guys that arguably complimentary to the car. Uh, I have a lot of people that give me weird looks on them, and I guess I don't necessarily blame them. I mean, it does, turn it into kind of looking like a bumblebee or some kind of insect. Regardless, um, I'll move on. I've got new flares, fender flares, that um, if I can give a personal shout out to Rich at GTR Garage. He hooked me up with these for doing video work in exchange and um, he tells me that they are flares off of a Skyline. Now, I don't know if there's any truth to it or what year or what have you, but I mean, if he says it's off a of Skyline, that's enough. For me, I'm a Nissan guy. Um, but other than the flares, I've got, I mean, some stickers and stuff, but I have LED headlights that, um, I mean, they, they work, but they really piss people off, I'm not gonna lie. Um, this little guy, which is nice because these front lips are extremely thin. And if you were to, uh, I don't know, my thinking was if I if I were to ever need to get onto a tow truck and they pull from my sway bar or if my toe link or something on the bottom of the truck breaks that I would at least want something they can tug it with and not screw up the rest of the fragile parts. So uh, moving on, my truck is a uh, rear wheel drive. Um, I, d I don't know what the um, distributor, I don't, I don't know the um, ratios or anything like that for it. I imagine they're pretty slow though because I can only get up to about 80 miles an hour in this truck before it sounds like it's screaming and and no tack because you know who needs that you just shift when it sounds or feels right I guess. Um, but overall I'd say I lucked out on this guy. Um, the only bit that is uh, kind of sucky is I'm sure you can see right there it's that daylight. Um, I'll get a better view at it but I just discovered this not too long ago. Um, you can obviously see the rust right here. I mean, if I angle it right, yep, there's daylight right there. So, uh, yeah. So one little project that I'm taking on with the truck is uh, that, well, that battery pan or part of the inner fender that um, is rusting out on me. So I've got some aluminum right here that, um, has already been mulled over a little bit, but it should be enough to create a patch panel. And um, I'm gonna try my hand at some welding. I've done a little bit before, but I'm definitely not a pro. I can't stack knives or, you know, whatever the, the common phrase is. But 
Uh, I'm going to give him my best shot, so that's going to be one thing to come, and I'll probably make a video about that in case you guys are curious. Most of you have at least heard of Top Gear, if not a devoted fan to it. This truck, or at least the same platform as this truck, was on a one of their special episodes where they basically tried to kill it and they tried like every way possible whether it was just running it into the ground which might be literally they dipped it into the ocean they dropped it off a built well they blew up a building from underneath it yeah somehow these little shits just can't they can't die which is awesome i mean it's my it's my daily driver so i don't want it to die <laughs> But this little truck is great, to be honest. Um, I don't think I actually said what I got this for. I actually swiped up this truck for $2,500 with um, 65,000 original miles on it. And ever since then, all I've done is a basic tune-up to it, um, cleaned it, you know, changed some fluids and whatever else comes in a, you know, typical tune-up. Um, and it's ran like a top. Um, I did hit a big bump once, my muffler fell off, just ungodly loud. Pretty miserable for everybody around me, but I got that fixed up thanks to my buddy Gabe, um, which if you're in the Midwest Indy area, Gabe Sleeman, everybody says that he's their buddy because he's a street racer and pretty famous. He's on 1320. I'll actually add in a clip of his Honda right now. Now before I wrap up this video, I did want to add one thing that um, if any of you see this and you remember me saying before that I would make a video about my Datsun, um, I have a 260Z 1974 and I'll go into detail about that in a dedicated video, but um, since I said that I would make a video about it a long time ago, the wiring harness had since caught fire from a drive that I had and that was due to some overcharging of the alternator I think so, something like that but um, the direct cause I'm not sure but it, it's forcing me to rewire the wiring harness entirely and well that's a big pain in the ass um, just how I was saying earlier it's such a blessing though that the car is so simple um, as of right now I have I think four things wired up I have fuel pump ignition uh, starter motor and a master cutoff switch for uh, power to the entire car. And I have that mounted on a, um, it's a Skillard, Skillard Automotive, um, like custom fabricated, well, custom by him. Can't remember where he's located out of, but uh, if you guys have Z's, fantastic guy to get your products for. I, I definitely recommend getting those. They fit right in they look great but uh okay enough of a shameless plug so um anyway i'm redoing the entire wiring harness on that car and it's going to take me a minute but um if you guys are interested in seeing that uh, type of content let me know and i can show wiring diagrams parts that i'm picking up give some tips that i've learned from my buddy drake along the way of uh, rewiring the whole thing and uh, maybe it'll give you guys a little bit of a boost of confidence is to take on a project such as a wiring harness. That's going to be the end of this vlog. So for now, until I make another video, which will probably end up being one of the dots and um, pretty sure that's it for me. So you guys have a good one. See ya.